It's the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey and we're here for Infected Let's Play for the beginners number six maybe i'm not even sure i think it's six i let me check yeah six i'm pretty yeah it's six okay guys so today we're gonna be taking a look at lima so pretty tricky i've never i haven't even attacked it yet so i'm going in blind just like you guys we're gonna kind of do some quick strategizing on the way here but at the end we'll be getting a defiler which is great because once i get my current defiler up to level nine i'll be able to evolve it which is gonna be really nice or promote whatever you want to call it so we're gonna go ahead and power through the first three levels here see what happens and then we'll kind of push on to the finale so let's go ahead and start with day one here lovely lima there's viscous viscous mucus that's what it is i want to say vicious but i knew it wasn't vicious it was, yeah. all over uh the area has been defiled looks like we got a defiler chilling out here guys all right so let's go ahead and fight uh yeah i like the squad here i like the squad i like how it looks so la sustencia gris all right that works Sloth babies are cute. That's what it said on there. Okay, let's see what we're going up against here. So we got some new snipers and outlaws here. These guys are powerful, powerful, powerful units here. So spec, op spec ops are stealth long range units. They can't be seen by the zombies until basically it's too late. Until you're getting really close up there, they're going to be like invisible pretty much. And when we look at the outlaws, let me go ahead and pull this up here. Basically, they're just little mini snipers, you could say. So outlaws dispense frontier justice from the end of a slow but powerful six shooter. Fires powerful but slow shot, takes down most zombies with one or two shots. The horde contains too many zombies for her. So it's really good to overwhelm with overwhelm her with drones, but the brutes can be it can be kind of iffy when going up against outlaws in terms of brutes and things like that. So it looks like we have both of our objectives chilling out way back here. So we're gonna have to go through everybody before we can get there. So right off the bat here, let me go ahead and flank. Can I do that? I can't do that really, but I'm gonna try. Send a delivery man out there just up front. Take out that outlaw for me. I'm going to throw a runner here to try to help take out this lumberjack for me. Looks like the lumberjack on the far end is going to go ahead and take out everybody. And, of course, we just get dropped like nobody's business. But that's how they roll. And it's annoying. But we got to deal with it. So, pickleback, just go ahead and finish the job there. So, an infector just to start getting some more people. And I'm going to start putting down my main kind of frontal squad, you could say. So, as you can see, Dr. Zomwich is getting pounded here. However, we're going against a whole bunch of outlaws here. Got a couple of handymen. They're not, going to be do, they're not going to be doing too much crazy stuff here. However, these snipers are going to be our kind of Achilles heel, you could say. So, we have nine drones to drop just in case. So, I'm going to hold down the fort just for the moment here. See how much these guys can kind of take out. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drop the next group here. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of let everybody kind of do their thing. I'm going to use my delivery man here. Try to start causing some damage to that wall there. Let's go ahead and start throwing some more mutated zombies. So we barely just made it past that area right there. Just kind of squeaked by and everything. But no, not my, I don't have too many complaints right now. We're doing pretty darn well. So those, as you can see, those snipers, the zombies just wal waltzed right past them. They didn't even see them. And that's the thing. Um, They're very stealthy. They're pretty much invisible until you... Pretty much take out the objectives so as you can see well you will see in just a moment here once we end up dropping the remaining buildings here you're going to see them all just kind of flow straight to those spec ops because there's nothing else to take out they're all that's left and they're just going to go ahead and kind of finish them off for the end so just fine and we could use the you okay here's another thing you can utilize the flare the flare can be used to go ahead and take them out if you'd like but it's pretty much optional but i mean if you're feeling it you want to use the flare i would definitely recommend that uh, let's go and throw some more people down. So, as you can see, everything's done here. We're just going to go head on over to the spec ops. I'm going to speed it up real quick because we just got to go ahead and take them out. No problem. Stim them up. So, yeah, the flare can be used to go ahead and get them close up, and then they will see them. So, it kind of depends how you're feeling. If you just want them to waltz on by, go for it, and you'll pick them up at the end of the round. But it's really just kind of comes up down to you. So, let's go ahead and continue here. Show rewards. So, now that I have a good idea what we're going up against, feeling pretty confident. So, Definitely going to want a lot of drones. Going to definitely bring on, along a couple of runners to kind of take on those lumberjacks. <clears throat> I'm sticking with my team that I got here. I've been loving this team. They've been getting the job done here. And, you know, I'm happy. we got a Titan right here. I like that. But he's going to be pretty easy bait for these outlaws. He's going to go down pretty quickly. But 
let's see what we got here so these outlaws will be able to easily overwhelm with drones fairly quickly so if i just got a good group of drones good dr ugh, good group of drones goodness <laughs> sometimes you just get a little kind of you just can't say it right so as you can see once you overwhelm with the drones pretty much game over because that firing rate is so low so i'm gonna go ahead and throw doctors doctor zombies whatever you want to call them doctor zombies goodness gracious go throw a titan up there it's got another biohazard chilling in the back start causing some problems for that medic everybody goes down mutated zombies are on the way to go ahead and take out that lumberjack let me go ahead and drop the rest of my people back here we're still gonna get some more because that infector there but you know other than that good stuff let's go ahead and stem this up bang big boom huge bang you could say so we're pretty much down all the objectives have pretty much basically gone down they're all down right now so we got 10 more drones to throw down why not let me go ahead and throw down another infector here throw down some more infected units get a titan going up front in here just in case but not expecting too much from him we just got to take out three spec ops and three outlaws as you can see titan goes down instantly from those spec ops it's rough but titans are great if you're going against firefighters uh, gunfighters things like that mercs anything like that so outlaws go down one big slap from dr zombies he's got his new little swipey attack thing i don't even know not sure what to call it swipey melee double arm slap it's what works for me okay time to bring on the hood for round three here it's my um mexican i got it in mexico it's pretty cool so continue i believe we have one more attack here with the infected we got about just over a thousand brains here and one more attack here we got 600 dna too i can't complain with that that's more upgrades guys so day three here we're gonna go ahead and fight love loving my team actually i believe i can actually upgrade real quick go ahead and evolve i will not complain with some extra power here let's continue tap to skip and they're gonna be at level three to three so they're gonna be getting those level three perks i'm not really sure what they are but i'm sure they're good so no complaints i didn't even look but i'll take them so everybody's at level three and above nick i'm gonna borrow let's see what i can borrow here i'm gonna go with this biohazard guys biohazards are clutch no complaints i like them they do work okay so a little bit different here what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna start this off by dropping just about 40 drones here and 70 maybe or 50 i dropped a good bit but what i'm gonna be doing here is i'm gonna try to take out all these outlaws and once we take them all out we're, i think we're actually gonna have to continue on here yeah i don't like that i want to i need a flare guys you know what boom take them out for me please okay so we ended up dropping one firefighter i'm gonna wait for this flare just for the moment here i'm actually gonna not go against that lumberjack just yet i'm gonna wait for this flare so we got the flare now i'm gonna drop a solid group flare them over here to these spec ops and that will give us a pretty much crystal clear like little close range attack here as you can see now they see him game over and it's pretty much just moving on to the next objective here so i'm gonna throw down some infectors to get me some more drones to kind of use to overpower them and now we're gonna start our attack so i'm gonna start throwing two biohazards in the back of the filer to kind of snipe some of these guys for me down goes that firefighter the emt goes down quickly behind and that is pretty much game over guys so i got a foul mouth here i'm going to use him in just a moment here let's go ahead and throw him right up here and a runner can't complain with that so i'm waiting for this infector to get get me another infector so i can start using that to get me some more drones here because i want more drones but we're gonna have to wait so i'm gonna speed this up just a bit here got another infector bang bang but a boom another defiler here epic power we got so much power so much juice guys so it looks like our guys are going towards that objective there dropped the foul mouth but he wasn't interested in the objective so he's going to try to head over to these guys but they're about to go down down goes a lumberjack and we got that little personal trainer there who goes down pretty quickly too so this setup is clearly working guys so if you want to kind of emulate what i got going on here go for it it'll get you through the lima attack and everything 337 trophies out of 375 could be better but it worked so show rewards what do we got what do we got what do we got we got some brains a spitter and a runner good stuff all right guys so that is day three here my team is exhausted but i will come back with the finale here and we'll open the uncommon pack at the end guys hope you guys enjoyed the first three days and we'll see you back in just a moment see you guys good evening we have reached the finale of lima guys and i'm pretty excited to get another defiler add him to my squad get another unit to evolve i'm hyped it's time to bring back on the hood 
It's the finale time, guys. It's just... It's time. All right, so Defiler here. Found him. <sighs> time to take him out. Here we go. And, guys, while I was uh, kind of finishing off those last couple rounds, I did swap out a lot of my main team for some level 1 and 2 guys, and I still was able to kind of complete it. So if you've got some pretty good strategy going for the city, you'll be doing pretty well. Okay, I don't think this is right. I feel like it's not really giving me, like, the true finales. Am I wrong? I don't even know. Shh. The dog. He likes talking. Maybe this is going to be the real finale. Because I feel like the real finale actually gives us like some dialogue or something. But I could be wrong. Okay, I think I'm wrong. I'm not really sure. But we're going to go ahead and work on this. So, first couple drones I'm going to drop. Just because I feel like I'm going to be able to overwhelm these handymen pretty fairly easily. Now, I'm going to drop an infected unit to sort of kind of distract those handymen while we kind of take those people out there we go and these drones will easily be able to overwhelm this outlaw without any problems and once she goes down i'm gonna drop an infector to start getting me some more drones here so we can keep on fighting to live another day here and i'm gonna go ahead and drop about eh, a pretty good amount and just waiting for the last second here i'm gonna drop my delivery man here in the back and he's gonna go ahead and blow some of them up for me bang and these last couple of drones should be able to take him out the outlaw for me and down she goes and the infector is going to go start going to work here now those drones are i'm going to let them get take out they're going to get taken out i'm just accepting that but i got 40 more drones to drop here i'm going to speed this up just a bit so we can get to that next infector here i'm going to start fortifying this group here i'm going to start kind of putting my main group in here let's put them all in here get those guys up front put those guys in the back get a runner in there and that infector is going to start getting me some more people so Doing so far so good. Now, I'm going to end up flaring my guys way over here in the back. Come on. Right there. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and flare all my guys to the back here. And I want them to start taking down those spec ops. If we can reach it back there. Looks like our... There we go. Looks like we actually managed to... The pickleback managed to find his way back there to the spec ops. And I got 50 drones to drop here. So, I'm going to drop the rest of them here. I'm going to re-fortify this front group right here. Let's get some more people going. And we're going to start heading straight to these guys. So I'm going to throw them down another infector because I believe my first one ended up going down. But it's the cost of war, guys. So it looks like we ended up taking those last couple survivors out. And we are headed straight here to the objective point. So I'm going to go ahead and use a delivery man to go ahead and try to take out that wall. We did lose some of our guys. It may take a couple trophies away from us, but it's okay because I'm feeling the win. So I'm going to speed this up for the remainder of it because we're just going to be cruising through the objective point here. It looks like it's going to go down without any problems. And down she goes. Say goodbye, little human people. 318 trophies plus our bonuses. What are we going to end at here? We're going to end up at 318 out of 375. Not too shabby. We're going to get all three rewards here. 580, 580 brains times two and a delivery man. So we're going to continue. We completed it, and we got a Defiler. I love it. I'm happy. I'm a happy camper right now, guys. I'm not complaining whatsoever. So, our army is growing large. Now we can soon weaker units for our resources to fuel our war effort. So, if you guys didn't know how to do this already, it's actually really helpful. So, you can go ahead and consume these. I have a million spitters right now. So, I can go ahead and consume a bunch of them, get free DNA, and that's just going to help evolve make the team better and it actually frees up a lot of space for new units so it's really helpful i'm sure you guys already know that tip now let's go ahead and open the uncommon pack here what it maybe we'll get something good what are we gonna get Ooh, we got an epic rare i think rare i got it we got a rare not an epic not that epic mortician those are pretty cool they actually bring back your mutated zombies back to life so those are pretty fancy, guys. So, there she is. That is Infected Let's Play number six. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.